even if, sorry to say this, I'll challenge you. Even if Saulo Shirima, Lazarus Shabu are not there, in the ballot box it's you and a dog. People will vote for a dog because they don't want what is happening now. If you listen, change the country. Bring the rule of law, govern, govern principles, know that you are leading people, not animals. If you say so, people will vote for you again. But today, the worst part of it, the worst part of it, instead of trying to come in line, knowing or understanding what the people want, what you are doing is go around, kill people, beat people. I just saw in Songani just now, you are going to remove the flags of opposition parties. For what? Flags of UTM, flags of MCB are not going to vote in the ballot box. If you move them, what are you going to gain? That is the thing why people are saying, we are tired of this. Let's see change. And whether you like it or not, Lazarus said, well, going to be a president. Because this time, with him, I am Jenny answer resigning. <laughs> not even knowing where the president is. Malawians are orphans and they are looking for a parent. This time they have chosen. This time they have chosen that our parent now, the first revolution went, it came with Bagiri Mluzi. Second revolution is this one. And unfortunately, the one who is bringing it up is going to be Lazarus Seguela and Salos Chirim. Unfortunately, because whatever you say, it won't work. Malawians just want to change. I'm talking to you, strategists of DBB. I'm talking to you people that are diehard supporters of DBP. You should know where is the problem. The problem is not about DBP losing power. The problem is about Malawians and they want a government of sanity. A government that when somebody killed the other, the police will go and arrest the one who killed. A government that when the people that are arrested, they support DBP, they will not be released because of DBP, but they must be released because the law says so. In your government, you release them as long as they show you the blue card. They are free. You don't mind the degree of crime they committed. Seven of them or ten of them were arrested in Blunt, wanting, planning to kill Timothy Ntambo. But because they were supporting you, your laws of DPP, the blue laws say those ones are innocent. This is why Northern Legion, Central Legion, Eastern Legion, Southern Legion, houses and homes are tired because they will say i heard somebody say we can't go back to egypt let me tell you this malawians today if the moses that god said is a bit i'm telling and dbp malawians are ready to go back to pharaoh why because in pharaoh despite being punished there was a rule of law they knew that it's a job of holding or carrying hot bricks. They know it's a law. Whether it's serving them or not, as long as the law is working, they will rather go there. And Malawians don't want the canon of lawlessness. They don't want the canon of blood. They don't want the canon where albinos don't have space to breathe when they are human beings. Malawians are not, are not ready for that. When I say like this, you will say, hey, Santa Zuma is bought. Hey, I eat my money. Do you see? This is my home. This is my work. I work with it. I'll never be bought by anybody. But I'll tell you what is the truth. Nothing but the truth. Because Malawi is my country too. I want to come home. But I shouldn't come home when I come with my car. You give me a price more than that I bought. And you say, I must come home. How can I come home? How will you alleviate poverty when you are killing people in that way? And this tax is not even making the Lord combo. It's not building a clinic in Kombo. It's not buying medicine in the hospitals. It's going in your pocket. There's no slavery like that. There's no slavery like that. Not at all. That slavery went in 1865 by Abraham Lincoln. 1,600 years ago, we cannot go back today. No. So when people are telling the truth, sit down again, change. Otherwise, you'll be disappointed. That's why any plan you make, it's out. Any plan you make, it's out. And I want to say something. Hamuzubanda was lucky because there was only one radio station. Bagini Mluza was lucky because there was only TV. Mr. Peter Mtalik and your DPP, you are in bad luck because today, communication, NLP, is in each and every door. 
You can hide, but everyone will listen the message of whatever you're planning because of social media. And I will say this. Tonsi Alliance, you don't need to waste your time or money going around. Just sit on your phone, talk, everyone will listen. Because Malawians, we are a family. I want you to understand this. Malawians, we are a family. A message will be sent in Chitipa. In the next 60 seconds, it will be seen in Insanji. The next 20 seconds, it will be in Mulanji. Will you back? Unless you put a law to say, no, so, no more social media. But we are Democrats. <laughs> we are Democrats. No one will change. Moreover, we can even challenge that when you are fighting for this democracy, Mr. Peter Mutalika was not there. So he has no monopoly over that. We will go to court. The last movie, number five. Move virtual and appeal to all political parties to stop politics of savagely. This politics you are doing, it's savage politics. We signed in the Constitution of the Republic that it's a multi-party dispensation. It's a multi-party democracy whereby last man with his party, he can hang flags everywhere. He can make a campaign everywhere. Where? Bagwaku. They will make a campaign all over the country. Now we wonder, we saw Kwerepeta, say Kwerepeta, what is the name again? It's an MP of DPP in Zomba. With PM police officers. This is one thing that you must know that Malawians won't change because you can't use the police service. You cannot use the police to go and do political issues. And you are reminding me, tomorrow's lecture is about the constitution and the rule of law. We want to know what is the job of the police. We want to know what is the job of the military. We want to know what is the job of the nurse. We want to know what is the, president, the job of the president and what are the conditions of service. We are coming tomorrow with a public lecture on Saturday, 2 o'clock. Be there so that you must lay. Mrs. Zigwerepeta is sending police and it's luck maybe because people are angry in Songani today. I don't know if those police officers are, if they were caught, if they are still alive. And because of this, that is why Malawians say, no, we don't want this Kenan. We don't want this Kenan, we'd rather go back to Egypt. But I want to say, here I'll talk to some of the critics of Muva Churunga. Fellow citizens, the change that we want here is a continuation struggle from 1993. It has now come to the interior in 2020. Whether you like it or not, we are crossing this bridge and we are going to see Kenya. This Kenya, Albinos will be free to live in there. This Kenya, Lomas will be free to be in there. This Kenya, DPP party will be able to go campaign all over Malawi. They will never be beaten. We will have no cadets because we signed a covenant in 1993 of democracy. Therefore, if you want to know why, you DPP, why people hate you, you have brought lawlessness in the country. You tried to paint bad names to Timothy Ntambo, HLRDC. You were wrong. These are freedom fighters that want to bring Malawi to the canon of freedom, to the canon of, of, of happiness, to the canon whereby each and everyone will do whatever they want to do without anybody hindering them or being let down. You have done that in five years, that's why everyone is against you. And the worst part, sorry to say that, because I'll come with something. The worst part is that even the leader that is teaching you DPP to do this, he's not with you today. You are even failing to tell the nation where is Mr. Peter Mutarik. Because some of these things you're supposed to be seeing them and answer himself. Maybe there could be some kind of sanity. But now you have hidden him, whatever is happening there, we don't know. Who is making the law here, we don't know. And that's very bad because democracy will never be hijacked. Now I want to come with the last part. I saw a funeral yesterday. I'm not coming to that type of thing, but I want to say something. This person who hate Sandra Zuma, this person who hate uh, uh, Muva Chungamo, he said, MCB of the past is a past that we don't want to go back. Now I want to tell you today, I am 55 years of age today. 
I have watched the leadership of Kamuzbanda.